ஹலோ ஹலோ அண்ட் ஆல் திஸ் இஸ் திவ்யா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இன் சென்ட் பீட்டர்ஸ் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் இன் ட்ரிபிள் ஏ டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் நோ ஐ வாண்ட் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் விண்ட் சோலார் ஹைப்ரிட் எனர்ஜி சிஸ்டம் ஸோ இந்த லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸஸ் ஐ ஆல்ரெடி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த பவர் குவாலிட்டி இஷ்யூஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த பவர் சிஸ்டம் இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் ஐ வில் டிஸ்கஸ் திஸ் பவர் சிஸ்டம் இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் பை யூசிங் எ பிபிடி ஹியூ ஸோ ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஷேர் ஸ்லைட் நோ So here, let us discuss about what is meant by reliability and performance requirements. So initially, what is the meaning of power system interconnection? Power system interconnection is nothing but decarbonizing the power sector is a necessary step towards a low carbon future, right? So interconnecting power systems on different continents could be a method to contribute to a such a future. by utilizing highly efficient renewable resources around the globe while simultaneously providing additional benefits of the power system integration so we can describe the process of constructing and simulating a global interconnected power system model with high technical and temporal resolution being the first of its kind on the global scale it can be designed to showcase the proof of the concept as an intermediate step to a high resolution global model by interchanging the existing european power system model with the north american continent this may be done so the top methodology and building up the necessary knowledge to realistically simulate the functionality of a possible future globe grid is nothing but some initial results are analyzed to support the viability and the model the concept in general so here yeah, coming to the importance of the reliability reliability is nothing but which includes the power quality and the continuity of the service that means continuity of the power supply and which accept the standards already we discussed about uh, some i i2p standards right so it has to obey the standards and capacity to meet the demand that means if a particular person needs some capacity of the electricity he is getting we have to supply that demand and delivery of the electricity amount desired accept the standards is also the important reliability and the strategic aspects towards the reliability are no power system should suffer a degradation of reliability due to its new mode of operation within a larger interconnected grid and it would represent a serious handicap to the success of RECA undertaking and could prevent the partners from reaping the full potential benefits of the pooling of resources. That means um, the ambitious, ambitious climate mitigation targets have been set in place to pursue a goal of constituting global average temperature increased to well below 2 degrees above pre industrial levels with a few further aim to limit uh, the increase to 1.5 degrees considering an increase in the global future energy demand as well as ex- expected increasing shares of electricity in final energy consumption from below 20% today to between 23% to 27% by the end of 2040 so we have to give the continuous reliability for the needed so what are the reliable issues what are the res- essential reliability issues there are mainly two essential reliability issues one is to maintain the required supply demand balance at all times that means availability of the sufficient amount of generation improved with the pooling of resources inherent in RECA and requires a suitable amount of reserve capacity that means determine using more or less uh, sophisticated methods and sufficient capacity of the interconnection links that means uh, we have to provide the sufficient capacity for the interconnection links and the second one is to maintain the synchronous operation throughout the interconnected grid in the even of the sudden disturbances if any sudden disturbances occurs we have to maintain the 
normal operation of the brain in the there exists a critical reliability issue in a RECA condition that means potentially detroited far reaching effects of a larger uh, number of potential faults possible large power transfers over long distances and efficient fast acting automatic systems to maintain continuity of the services and to prevent catastrophic um, events total system collapse damage to the equipment can be reduced so basic performance requirements are the performance requirements are classified into two types those are n1 and n2 situations so n1 means those are the basic level reliability situations and n2 means those are extended often so here full continuity of the service without loss of load that means the uh, fault on a single element can be destroyed that means normally cleared permanent three phase fault on a transmission circuit and the loss of the largest generating unit assuming all the equipments in service prior to the fault if uh, the n2 situation occurs that means to include the loss of double circuit line to assume uh, an element out of service prior to the fault and uh, the additional performance requirements are much more comprehensive set of requirements may become necessary as the interconnected grid grows larger and more complex larger number of generation and transmission elements and increasing number of possible specific uh, conditions and more risky operating conditions may result from the actual operating experience so this is about the power system interconnected operation globally so in the next classes we will discuss one more topic